The Roaring Twenties are well known for impactful innovations. Come with us as we highlight those innovations that have helped shape the world in which we live. Our journey begins with the proliferation of big business and the emergence of what we call today information communication technology, ICT. Thanks to technological advancements, people had access to more and easier modes of communication through the innovation of the newspaper, radio, and telephone. Now, the newspaper was the most common and the cheapest. For two cents a day, you had communication at your fingertips. Now for the more luxurious innovations, we have the radio. For those who could afford one, you had access to world events in the comfort of your own home. And for those who could afford a telephone, you could reach out and touch your loved ones, whether at home or overseas. So as we look at innovations in the Roaring 2021, that umbrella has broadened. It now includes cellular phones, computers, satellite systems, hardware, softwares, and all of the accoutrements that accompany each of those devices. For those businesses that have leveraged their ICT, benefits abound. Globalization, the interdependence of world economies, economic development, widespread efficiencies through time, space, and money, cultural bridge building, enjoining relationships to increase the opportunities for ideation, and last, but certainly not least, education. Access which reduces community disparities. So for those leaders at the top of the business charts that have mastered the in information communication technology, they are the leaders. And they also continue to innovate, invest, and invent all of these other innovations. So Matt, what innovations are you highlighting today? Thanks, Tuana. One of the parallels that I see is with the automobile industry. The Roaring Twenties saw tremendous growth in automobile usage. At the start of the decade, there were 8 million registered drivers in the U.S., and by the end, there were 23 million. That's three times growth in 10 years. Now compare that to our Roaring 2020s, in which we expect to see explosive adoption of electric vehicles. As of 2020, there were 1.8 million EVs registered in the U.S., and Deloitte anticipates that by 2030, there will be 31 million EVs on U.S. roads. That's 17 times growth in just 10 years. I've been driving a Chevy Bolt for the last couple of years, and with my lease ending soon, I'm eager to try out all the new models coming out. The auto industry of the 1920s created innovation in a number of related areas as well. For instance, there was innovation in the automobile itself, like vulcanized rubber for tires. Also, there was innovation and growth in highway design and road construction, auto mechanics, oil and gasoline refining and distribution. Also, motor hotels or motels became popular in the 1920s to accommodate all the travelers. Another industry that got its start was fast food to give travelers a quick bite when they were on the road. In our decade of the roaring 2020s, we're seeing innovations in batteries, both for cars themselves and also grid level storage, Prolifer pro proliferation of charging stations, faster charging rates, integration with home and car electrical systems for backup power. I'm eager to see how we transform our transportation and electrical systems over the course of our roaring 2020s. Kimberly, what caught your eye? Thanks, Matt. Speaking of automobiles, who doesn't like the feeling of driving or riding in a convertible or a cabriolet, which first appeared in the late 1920s? The limitless space above your head, the wind blowing through your hair, the sound of the fast air rushing through your ears, and the feeling of the sun shining on your face. It gives you a million dollar experience, right? Closed top automobiles with vinyl or cloth roofs really became prevalent before the 20s, after the horse and buggy era. However, as the 1920s unfolded, drivers and riders alike missed that open air feeling that the horse and buggy in the early days had provided. So in 1927, the Buicks, Cadillacs, Lincolns, and the Chryslers of the world brought multiple convertibles and cabriolet, cabriolet models to an eager public who just crave that exuberant feeling of the open air and being free. 
So today, as the world is opening up, we are getting the same exuberance and sense of relief, giddiness, if you will, and freedom to go out and embrace nature, experience, and others. So as leaders, we need to try to create that same level of freedom, exuberance, and openness in the communities we are recreating in the workplace. I ask, what can you do in the workplace to help your teams feel free to express themselves? Vulnerability, inclusivity, community, and truly being present in the moment are a few key ways to come to mind when, for me to establish your convertible free and office feeling. So as we look into our 2020s, we continue to see impactful innovations, such as the recent space travel, that we all can say this is an exciting time and it's an awesome time to be alive.